Hello, in this video, I'm going to be talking about the very basics of matrices. So this is good if you've never seen them before. If you have and you want to know about multiplication, finding inverses, determinants, um, solving systems of equations with them, go over to my channel or look for a playlist that I'll probably put in the description and I'll put all my matrices videos in there. So if you haven't seen matrices before, we'll introduce them like this. Say we have three towns, okay, town A, we've got town B, and say another town that I will call C. And let's connect these towns together with roots, okay, so like there to there, and let's give two roots that take you from B to C. Now we could represent the number of roots between each pair of towns in a, in a column or in a table rather. So say we've got town A, town B, and town C, and let's do the same over here. So how many roots connect town A to itself? Well, there's no need to do that, so zero. How many roots connect town A to B? Well, you can see it's one. And how many roots connect town A to C? Zero, there's no root. How many roots connect town B to A? Well, one. How many uh, roots connect town B to itself? Zero, for the same reason. And how many roots connect town B to C? Well, two do. Now let's do the same for C. So C will be, well, zero, two, and zero. So there you go, we filled in this table, but we could represent this as a matrix. So let me write a matrix, and we do that with big brackets like this. So it would be 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 2, and 0, 2, 0. Now you might be thinking, why would I bother doing that when I could do it, just keep it in a table? Well, this is quite a basic example, but once I've put it into a matrix, I can start to do calculations with it. So say I wanted to double the number of connections between each town. Well, I could just times this matrix by 2. Now this might seem silly at something of this level, but you can get huge matrices that are like a million by a million or something like that. So if you had a matrix like that, just doing operations would help simplify things quite a lot. And if you study maths further on, you'll learn about solving differential equations with them, or um, I don't know, solving big linear systems of equations, just loads of stuff like that. Okay, so they are very useful. So let's learn about sort of notation to do with matrices. So when we write about matrices, we usually call them a big capital letter. So we could write a matrix here, say two, three, one, four, and we would usually call it capital A. I don't know why, but matrices usually are given capital letters, okay? And so when we wanna talk about the dimension or the size or the order, whatever word you wanna use of the matrix, we talk about how many rows it's got and how many columns. So we write it like this. We would call a matrix an M by N matrix where we have the number of rows being M, so rows is our M, and the number of columns is N, so N columns. So this matrix I just have just drawn would be a two by two matrix, okay? But I could draw another one, say matrix B, and that might look like this. Now this matrix has got three rows and two columns. So the dimensions of this matrix would be three times two. So you get the point. Now there are some other special matrices we can talk about. So if the number of rows is equal to the number of columns, so M equals N, we have what's called a square matrix because it makes a square. Another special type of matrix is where every entry or every element in the matrix, so these numbers that are written in the matrix, so two, six, whatever it is, they're called the elements of the matrix. And if every element is equal to zero, we have what's called a zero matrix. So the zero matrix would maybe be, we could have one that looks like this. So zero, 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 or I don't know, just zero, zero. Doesn't matter what the dimensions are, but if every element is zero, it's zero matrix. And finally, I'm not gonna to talk too much about this now, but we ha also have something called an identity matrix, which would look something like this. It's usually given a capital I, and this is always a square matrix. Okay, so the number of rows is gonna equal the number of columns. And we have ones, say we have a three by three square matrix. We have ones going down the diagonal like this, or a two by two square matrix, or identity matrix might look like this. Okay, so we have ones going down the diagonal and zero for all other entries. So that's pretty much it for this video. This is a very entry level video to matrices, um, but subscribe if it was useful and go check out my playlist on matrices for tons of other videos on them. Uh, and if you want loads of exam questions, I'll link my TikTok, but at the minute that's more GCSE based. So it might not be useful if you're doing higher level maths. So yeah, thanks for watching. Hopefully it was useful.